CA38, Managing Cloud Security, is done. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am going for my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance at a college called Western Governance University. And um, yeah, this is another class that I've luckily passed. So uh, we're going to talk about it. Now, apparently this class has changed a bit over the you know past few years or whatever. In its current form, the way that it works is you are required to pass an internal exam. And if you pass that exam, uh, once the class is complete, you will get an email basically saying, hey, congratulations, you passed the class. Here is a voucher, if you want it, to take the CCSP exam. And this class is pretty much based off of the CCSP. Just in case you're curious, I am planning on taking the CCSP exam, but not anytime soon, to be honest with you. I don't really feel like this class would have properly prepared me for it. I literally need to go and just do some serious, like hardcore studying for probably like a month before I feel like I'm, I'm truly ready to take that exam. What I typically do when I take exams, like external exams, I don't usually just study for like a week and then go take them. Usually I, I take time to really study. I watch entire video series. I might read some books. I actually bought a couple of um, extra books specifically for the CCSP. Like I bought the official study material, but I don't actually plan on taking the exam anytime soon. I'm just not ready yet. I like that this class was more security focused, but to be honest, I, I didn't like this class. I didn't like this class at all. There is this PDF that's like, I think it's like 150 pages or something that they kind of recommend that you read, but I, I just don't learn very well that way. So what I chose to do was I chose to do some of the other resources. And one of the resources that they tell you about is uh, LinkedIn Learning. There's a course by um, Mike Chappell where he basically goes through and he goes through all of the CCSP material. And then of course, Mike Chappell's books, I bought his books. He has a, a PDF guide, I bought that too. Um, you know, I really used the official, official CCSP material to try to take this exam. And yeah, I think the exam is probably more based off of um, the actual like 150 page PDF versus all of the other material that I use. I feel like there was differences in them. Uh, this isn't really a huge deal, but uh, I, I think that depending on your security level in general, you might struggle with this class. I totally understand why this class is one of the last classes that you're supposed to take in this degree, because it's it's difficult. When I first got access to this class, I started studying just a little bit uh, before I took the pre-assessment, but I took the pre-assessment and I failed. Um, the pre-assessment pretty much showed me though that it was like, okay, I don't really like the way that the questions are worded, but it's not a big deal. It didn't seem like it was huge. It just, I didn't really care for them too much. So uh, what I did was um, I started studying for a little bit pretty hard, but then, you know, I got access to the capstone, stopped everything, worked on the capstone, and then eventually I came back and started studying for um, this particular class again. Like yesterday was my main day of just kind of focusing and trying to get this class done. I ended up taking the pre-assessment again yesterday. It was a little late in the day, but I ended up taking it again just because I wanted to do another round of practicing just to make sure I kind of understood the way that the, the questions were formatted and make sure that I at least passed the pre-assessment the second time. And, and I did. Yesterday was pretty good. I got a very good score on it. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll take it this morning, but I wasn't super sure. It's the first of the month. And so I was thinking to myself, I remember when I first started last month, the very first day, couldn't really access anything. And so I knew that they would have kind of issues this morning, but I didn't know if those issues really affect new people or if it affects everybody. And so when I woke up this morning, I was like, well, if I can't log in, then I guess I'll just take the exam over the weekend. But if I can log in and I can access the class, then maybe I can schedule the exam. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up waking up really early. I woke up at like 5.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I just got up and um, I, I checked, I was able to log in. And so I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and schedule the exam. Let's not waste any time, let's do it. So I basically scheduled my exam for 7 a.m. I, uh, I woke up, ate some breakfast, and I took a little bit of time to just study my notes again. Just one last quick, you know, refresher before I sat down and I took the test. Of course, I am happy to say that I passed, but man, this was a tough, tough exam. And I think the main reason why was the wording. I, I hate the way that the questions were worded. Like a lot of the questions genuinely to me did not make sense. Like I read the question and I'm like, well, it's not a matter of, well, do I know the answer or do I not know the answer? 
the answer could be this or the answer could be that. I don't understand what they mean when they're asking the question. And that really, really frustrated me. Another issue was the length. Now, with most of the WGU exams that I've taken, the exam, mm, I think you have like maybe between like a maximum of an hour to maybe two hours on most of these, these exams that I've taken. But this particular one, you have a maximum of four hours. Why? Because it's a ton of questions. I'm not sure if I can tell you exactly how many questions it is, so I won't, but I will tell you that it's over 100 questions and it's far more questions than I've had to take on any exam so far at WGU. It's not like I didn't know it was going to be long because when you sign up for a class and you get access to it, it actually shows you, you know, hey, your pre-assessment is going to be this many questions and you have this maximum amount of time to do it. It does that for both the pre-assessment and the objective assessment. So it's not like you don't know what it is, but still it's long. And when I did the pre-assessment, the problem was I did the pre-assessment and I got to about an hour um, while I was in the middle of taking it. And then I just, my, my brain shut off. I was done. I was done. I couldn't concentrate anymore. I was like, you know what? I just want to go to bed. I don't want to do this anymore. So um, that really told me and showed me what I've already known about myself, which is if I'm going to take an exam, I need to take it in the morning. Apparently I'm a morning person now. I have the most energy in the morning. I'm most focused in the morning. And so for this particular exam, I had to make sure I got it done early because if I would have did it late, I probably would have failed. I actually almost failed this time. So what happened was, you know, again, I'm, I'm looking at the questions and the questions are not making sense to me. Not all of them, but a lot of them just were not making sense to me. I couldn't tell if the question was asking one way or if it was asking another way. And so as I was going through, I noticed that I marked way more questions for review uh, than I have in previous tests. I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but the way that the tests work, at least the ones that I've taken that are internal with WGU, um, you do have the option to like mark a question for review and come back to it later. You, If you're gonna mark a question for review, you should probably just go ahead and answer it right then and there just in case, but you don't have to answer the question if you don't want to. You can mark it for review and then come back to it later. There will be a little section on the bottom right that you can click on and it'll, it'll allow you to only look at like the questions that you mark for review or you can only look at the questions that you just haven't answered yet and that will help you to go back in and answer whatever it is that you need to do. So yeah, I already knew I was having a bad time because I had marked more questions for review than any other exam that I've taken so far. And so the problem was, I'm like, okay, I, I do not know if I'm gonna pass at all. I wasn't worried about like, oh, you're gonna run out of time. You have a maximum of four hours. The pretest usually took me like an hour 15, so I wasn't worried about that. But I was you know, sitting there thinking to myself, all of these questions, I'm not really sure what the answer is. And, and don't misunderstand me, it wasn't all that the questions were worded incorrectly. I genuinely didn't know the answer to at least a couple of questions and I just had to you know, do an educated guess. But yeah, it was pretty difficult. And when I got to the end of the exam, I was sitting there and I was like, it, it literally could go either way. I didn't feel like I was gonna fail, but I had zero confidence that I had passed at the same time. So yeah, I was just like, damn, whatever happens, happens. I'm glad that the class is over as I was starting to you know, wait for the results because the results was taking a minute. I kept clicking refresh and it wasn't showing up. But as I was waiting for the results, I was just kind of mentally preparing myself. I was like, I'm gonna have to take this again. And I was thinking to myself that even if I studied like hard for another week, maybe I'll pass it the next time, but there's no way I'm gonna get a high score. The questions are just worded really weirdly. So yeah, I, I, ugh, I'm so glad it's over. So what is next? Well, today is day 32 of my first official term and nine out of 10 classes done. There's only one left. And that final class is D-153, Penetration Testing and Vulnerability Analysis. I said it in a prior video, but this, this is the last class. This is probably supposed to be the last class because in the actual material, when you first click on the class, it says, you know, prerequisites, blah, 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 blah. And it just lists a ton of classes that you should get done before you take this one. I'm pretty sure that WGU wants this one to be the last class besides the capstone. The requirements to pass this class are actually really simple. You just need to pass the CompTIA Pen Test Plus exam. However, that's probably a lot more easily said than done. This is supposed to be a pretty difficult exam. And to be honest with you, I'm expecting it to take me a while. I will probably put a couple, maybe even a few weeks into this one. Again, it's an external exam and I tend to take a lot of time studying for these type of exams because they're hard, but also 
they're external exams, which means they usually cover a more broad range of stuff. And it's going to take some time for me to learn this and, and make sure that I understand it to the level that I need in order to pass a class. Well, I, I say that, but at the same time, this is the only thing standing between me and my degree. So as much as I'm super interested in the material, I can learn the material when I get out of school. This is it. Once I pass this class, once I'm done with this class, the bachelor's degree is done. I am so hype. I am so excited. Like you guys have no idea. So yeah, I I, I really want to study this. I really want to learn it. I want to take the time and play around with it. I'm, I'm super excited to get back into pen testing. I haven't done it in a long time and I really enjoyed it, but I want to finish this degree. I want to finish this. I want this to be done. So yeah, I'm going to take it serious. Even today, I'm going to be taking it serious. I'm going to be immediately jumping into the study material. I'm going to be immediately be practicing because I'm ready to get it done. I'm ready to finish this. But that's it. Those are my updates. I was thinking about doing a, you know, one month with WGU video because that's what I did with both Sophia and study.com. However, um, I, this, this video can just be the one month. Um, we know where we are. It's it's February 1st, nine out of 10 classes are done. I got one left, I'm focused, I'm ready to go. This is gonna be the hardest one I think for sure out of everything, but I'm, I'm ready to do it. So let's, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. Um, but anyways, that's it for me. You guys take care and I will see you on my next video.